greetings and much blessings. As I look out yonder and I see how this soil has been manipulated. And this was all in the name of progress. This was all in the name of progress, all in the pursuit of happiness. Even the fact that you see concrete before you. This was all in the pursuit of happiness. This was all progress. But what you see before you does not blend in with the environment that's around it. What usually happens is if people don't maintain these artificial fortresses per se, um, they rot. They start to decompose. Weeds start to grow within it. It starts to rust. So these things that were built here were not supposed to be here. So that includes what you see right now. This wasn't supposed to be here. Even this car that I'm currently in was not really supposed to be here. If it's not helping the environment, if it can't blend in with the environment. You know, a lot of people talk about how many eons ago, ancestors could fly, they could teleport, they could run real fast, they knew how to utilize animals, and if they built aircraft, it was built from the nature that's around it. It wasn't manipulated it turned into certain metals and things like that. So yes, you could build a flying aircraft out of the trees that you see, but it wouldn't be wasted. You could use the sinew and the skins and hides from animals to develop the wings on these particular aircraft, but yet they were more high tech than what we have out now. Ironically, Airbus is trying to build an aircraft that has wings that mimic a golden eagle. Yes, eventually most of the aircraft industry will build their version of dragons. Albeit, these dragons will be mechanical, but then eventually will become biomechanical. So maybe even the dragon that you knew of growing up in fairy tales, you'll see them again, but they will be biomechanical. They will be advanced android type of dragons. But maybe not because maybe that's not the way it's supposed to be because this soil wasn't supposed to be manipulated. Even all these cornfields you see, this was all prairie grass at one time. How come the change? Well, the change occurred because people changed. Some things that occurred with the change that people made was based on what people allowed. Not just what was forced upon the people, but you know, in due time, this can change back to its original state once again. But it is up to one that cares for this land not to continue to be manipulated. Even as we are on these rolling plains, you know, you may have heard a statement, flat as Kansas. Well, as you can see, I'm currently in Kansas right now. Kansas is not always flat. There were a lot of foothills, mountains, plateaus, and yes, giant trees. Some have even speculated that Plateaus were the stumps of giant trees that reached up into the stratosphere. Maybe so. But with that said, it's up to one to make that change back to the original state. Continue to fight off the manipulations of current people who don't care about the environment. It's up to the people to bring back everything to its natural state. Y'all stay blessed.